Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try something a little bit more challenging. Instead of taking the square root of i, we're going to take the square root of a complex number 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 times i. How do you do that? Well again, let's put that number onto the real imaginary plane. Notice that the real part is equal to 2, the imaginary part is equal to about 3.464i because that's approximately equal to 2 times the square root of 3. So when we find the point on the plane, it's right here, which means that the angle from the origin to the point is equal to 60 degrees and the length here is equal to 4. How do we know that? Well, we know that the length will be equal to the square root of the real part squared plus the length of the imaginary part squared. So it'll be 2 squared plus 2 times the square root of 3 squared, which is 4 plus 12, which is 16. And of course, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So now when we take the square root, we know we're going to end up with something where the angle to the point will be half as much, and the length to that point will be the square root of the original length. So let's draw a new line at a 30 degree angle, which will be about like this. Let's see here. That is approximately a 30 degree angle. So let's go here. So this would be theta nu, which would be equal to theta divided by 2, which is 60 degrees divided by 2, which is equal to 30 degrees. That's our new angle. So we know that the square root of our imaginary, uh, our complex number, the square root of that will now be on this line. And the position of that point will be equal to well, we call that the new length from the origin will be the square root of the original length, so it'll be two units away. So it'll be somewhere around here. Now, how do we find the exact position of that point? So we need to take the square root. Um, so the best thing to do is probably to draw the triangle like here. Let's do that. So here's our little triangle. We know that this here represents the origin. This here represents the real part. This here represents the imaginary part. And this here represents the new length. And we know that the new length is equal to the square root of the original length. So we know that's going to be equal to 2. And we know that the angle here will be 30 degrees. Which means that the imaginary part since it's the opposite side to the angle and here we're going to use a little bit of trigonometry and if you don't know yet how to do the trigonometry don't worry about it just go ahead and kick back enjoy watch us do it and just take the numbers as they are so this will be half the hypotenuse so half the hypotenuse is equal to one so the length of the imaginary part is equal to one and the real part that will be equal to the square root of three over two times the hypotenuse, so that's a hypotenuse. This is the square root of 3 over 2. The 2's cancel out, so we get the square root of 3. Which means that the square root of the complex number 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 times i is equal to the real part, which is the square root of 3, plus the imaginary part, which is 1 times i. That's the square root of this. All right. If we put that on the board right here, let's see, the square root of 3 is about 1.7. So that would, that's to the real part, about 1.7 right here. And then we get 1 over here. So whatever those two meet, I guess I'm a little bit off. Let me clean that up a little bit. It's a little messy. There we go. Let's try that again. A little bit to the, a little bit to the left. So here we go. Here we go. So this would be the square root of 3. And over here, that would be equal to 1i, 1i. And so that means that this here would be our square root of our original number, which would be the square root of 3 plus 1i. That's the square root of that complex number. Now, of course, we want to make sure we did it correctly. So we're going to square the number and hopefully get back the original number. So we take the square root of 3 plus i, and we're going to square that. Of course, when we square the binomial, we take the first term squared, so this is equal to the square root of 3 quantity squared, plus twice the product of the 2, so 2 times the square root of 3 times i, 
plus the last term squared, i squared. So this becomes equal to 3 plus 2 times the square root of 3 times i. And of course, the, square, the i squared is equal to negative 1, so minus 1. So this becomes 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 times i. And that's, of course, the original number that we started with. And therefore, we realize that this is indeed the square root of our original complex number. Of course, that's how it's done graphically. Now you may want to say, well, how do we do this if we don't do it graphically? Well, stay tuned. We'll show you on the next video. And that is how it's done.